This is the Word of God. Together we read history, the law, prophecy, poetry, the saving message of Jesus, and more. In only 15 minutes per day, we can read the entire Bible in a year and see and hear God's will for our lives. Let's read. Nehemiah chapter 10 Now those who were sealed were Nehemiah the governor, the son of Hakaliah, and Zedekiah, Sarahiah, Azariah, Jeremiah, Pasher, Amariah, Malchijah, Hattish, Shebaniah, Malak, Harim, Meramoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Ginnathon, Baruch, Meshulam, Abijah, Mijamin, Meaziah, Bilgai, and Shemaiah. These were the priests, the Levites, Jeshua, the son of Azaniah, Binuai of the sons of Henadad, Cadmiel, and their brothers, Shebaniah, Hodiah, Kalita, Pelaiah, Hanan, Micah, Rehob, Hashabiah, Zachar, Sherabiah, Shebaniah, Hodiah, Benai, and Beninu. The chiefs of the people, Perash, Pahathmoab, Elam, Zatu, Banai, Banai, Azgad, Bebei, Adonijah, Bigvei, Aden, Ater, Hezekiah, Azer, Hodiah, Hashem, Bezei, Heref, Anathoth, Nobei, Magbiish, Meshulam, Hezer, Meshezebel, Zadok, Jejua, Pelatiah, Hanan, Enaiah, Hoshea, Hananiah, Hashub, Halohesh, Pilha, Shobek, Rehum, Heshabna, Measeiah, Ahiah, Hanan, Anan, Malak, Harim, and Baana. The rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, the temple servants, and all those who had separated themselves from the peoples of the lands to the law of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, everyone who had knowledge and understanding, joined with their brothers, their nobles, and entered into a curse and into an oath to walk in God's law, which was given by Moses the servant of God, and to observe and do all the commandments of the Lord our Lord, and His ordinances and His statutes, and that we would not give our daughters to the peoples of the land, nor take their daughters for our sons. And if the peoples of the land bring wares or any grain on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy from them on the Sabbath or on a holy day, and that we would forego the seventh year crops and the exaction of every debt. Also, we made ordinances for ourselves to charge ourselves yearly with the third part of a shekel for the service of the house of our God, for the showbread, for the continual meal offering, for the continual burnt offering, for the Sabbaths, for the new moons, for the set feasts, for the holy things, for the sin offerings to make atonement for Israel, and for all the work of the house of our God. We, the priests, the Levites, and the people, cast lots for the wood offering to bring it into the house of our God, according to our Father's houses, at times appointed year by year, to burn on the Lord our God's altar, as it is written in the law, and to bring the first fruits of our ground and the first fruits of all fruit of all kinds of trees, year by year, to the Lord's house. Also the firstborn of our sons and of our livestock, as it is written in the law, and the firstborn of our herds and of our flocks, to bring to the house of our God, to the priests who minister in the house of our God. And that we should bring the first fruits of our dough, our wave offerings, the fruit of all kinds of trees, and the new wine and the oil, to the priests, to the rooms of the house of our God, and the tithes of our ground to the Levites, for they, the Levites, take the tithes in all our farming villages. The priest, the descendant of Aaron, shall be with the Levites when the Levites take tithes. The Levites shall bring up the tithe of the tithes to the house of our God, to the rooms, into the treasure house. For the children of Israel and the children of Levi shall bring the wave offering of the grain, of the new wine, and of the oil, to the rooms where the vessels of the sanctuary are, and the priests who minister with the gatekeepers and the singers. We will not forsake the house of our God. Chapter 11 The princes of the people lived in Jerusalem. The rest of the people also cast lots to bring one of ten to dwell in Jerusalem, the holy city, and nine parts in the other cities. The people blessed all the men who willingly offered themselves to dwell in Jerusalem. Now, these are the chiefs of the province who lived in Jerusalem. But in the cities of Judah, 
everyone lived in his possession in their cities. Israel, the priests, the Levites, the temple servants, and the children of Solomon's servants. Some of the children of Judah and of the children of Benjamin lived in Jerusalem. Of the children of Judah, Athaiah, the son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Mahalalel, of the children of Perez. And Maaseiah, the son of Baruch, the son of Kolhoza, the son of Hazaiah, the son of Adaiah, the son of Joyarib, the son of Zechariah, the son of the Shilonite. All the sons of Perez who lived in Jerusalem were 468 valiant men. These are the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshulam, the son of Joed, the son of Pedaiah, the son of Kolaiah, the son of Maasaiah, the son of Ithael, the son of Jeshaiah. After him, Gabai and Selai, 928. Joel, the son of Zikri, was their overseer, and Judah, the son of Hasanua, was second over the city. Of the priests, Jediah, the son of Joyarib, Jachin, Seraiah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Mariath, the son of Ahitub, the ruler of God's house, and their brothers who did the work of the house, 822. And Adaiah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Peleliah, the son of Amzi, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pasher, the son of Malchijah, and his brothers, chiefs of fathers' households, 242. And Amashai, the son of Azarel, the son of Azai, the son of Meshilameth, the son of Immer, and their brothers, mighty men of valor, 128. And their overseer was Zabdiel, the son of Hagadolam. Of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashab, the son of Azrakam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Bunai, and Shabbathiah and Jazabad, of the chiefs of the Levites, who had the oversight of the outward business of God's house, and Madaniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, who was the chief to begin the thanksgiving in prayer, and Bakbakiah, the second among his brothers, and Abda, the son of Shamua, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun. All the Levites in the holy city were 284. Moreover, the gatekeepers, Akab, Talman, and their brothers, who kept watch at the gates, were 172. The residue of Israel, of the priests, and the Levites were in all the cities of Judah, every one in his inheritance. But the temple servants lived in Ophel, and Ziha and Gishpah were over the temple servants. The overseer also of the Levites at Jerusalem was Uzai, the son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Madaniah, the son of Micah, of the sons of Asaph, the singers responsible for the service of God's house. For there was a commandment from the king concerning them, and a settled provision for the singers, as every day required. Pethahiah, the son of Meshezabel, of the children of Zerah, the son of Judah, was at the king's hand in all matters concerning the people. As for the villages with their fields, some of the children of Judah lived in Kiriath Arba and its towns, in Dibon and its towns, in Jacobzeel and its villages, in Jeshua, in Malada, Beth Pelet, in Hazar Shual, in Beersheba and its towns, in Ziklag, in Makona and in its towns, in El Reman, in Zorah, in Jarmuth, Zonoa, Adulam, and their villages, Lachish and its fields, and Azekah and its towns. So they encamped from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. The children of Benjamin also lived from Geba onward, at Michmash and Ayajah, and at Bethel and its towns, at Anathoth, Nob, Ananiah, Hazor, Ramah, Gideon, Hadid, Zeboam, Nebalat, Lod, and Ono, the Valley of Craftsmen. Of the Levites, certain divisions in Judah settled in Benjamin's territory.